As a fabric designer, I'm always looking at the market for new and special ideas. And for different groups, if I'm thinking of the patterns that I'm going to create, I often design the fabric to go with that design that I have in mind. Hello, my name is Pearl Krush, and I am a shop owner, a designer, and I simply love to make fabric projects. Today, what we're going to be making is a nappy knapsack and bedroll. This is a great project for a toddler to use when going to preschool, grandma's house, or perhaps in his own room to take a nap. So what we're going to be making is this little bedroll. And the bedroll is being, we're using a thin foam product that can just be inserted into what is honestly like a pillowcase. But we're gonna start with the finishing processes first. To make the tie string for the bedroll, we're going to use a two inch by width of fabric strip and we're folding the raw edge to the center and folding it yet again. And then we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew the entire length. So now we're going to lower the presser foot and sew the entire length of the strip. And all you want to be really sure of is that you keep the folds together. Okay, so now we're going to remove the tie strip from the sewing machine and tie a knot at the end. You can make this tie strip the same way using a specialty foot. You simply insert the fabric into the foot. It rolls it and stitches it and guides it through making the tie strip for you. Fold the tie strip in half and lay it to the side. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about applique. In order to start, we're using a double-faced fusible web, and you want to trace all of your designs on the wrong side of the sticky side. In order to find the tacky side of the fabric, of the fusible, you simply peel back a corner, and you'll feel one side is slightly tacky, the other side isn't. And as you can see, our little giraffe motif is quite large, so we're making it a little bit smaller for our project that we're going to be sewing. Once you have all of your applique ironed in place onto the wrong sides of your applique product, product, uh, fabrics, we're going to peel it and place it onto a Teflon sheet. When you peel and place your appliques onto the Teflon sheet, you can simply press them in place and carefully, at the very end, peel them off so you have one continuous applique. This applique is then placed onto the front portion of the bedroll. Now we're going to go back to the sewing machine and start constructing the bedroll. Adding this applique, we're going to be doing some blanket stitching. And this will add a little bit of accent to your applique. I have changed the foot to an open toe foot so that we can see where we're going. We're going to go over to the machine and hit a decorative stitch. And on the machine, there are so many choices, but for today, we're gonna to use a blanket stitch. And we're going to sew around all of the pieces on the applique to hold them in place. I have a different color of uh, stitch going on here so that uh, we can just get this sewn down in place. And it might match a little bit more than what I would like it to. You might want to change and be sure that you use colors that will accent all of your appliques so that they pop. As you can see, this doesn't take any time at all. Once you have all of the appliques sewn in place, we're simply going to lift it from the machine and lay it to the side. To add the top and bottom borders onto your panels, you're gonna place them right sides together on your main fabric, put them into the sewing machine, changing back to the foot to the straight sew foot, and we're going to sew this in place all the way along to attach both the top and bottom borders onto both the front and back panels. Remove it from the sewing machine 
And now we're going to place it right sides together with the back panel and the front panels touching, making sure that the narrow border is on top and the wide border is on bottom. Line those up and we're going to sew the side bottom and remaining side seams. So we're almost finished, so we're going to keep going until we get to the end. Remove it from the sewing machine and turn it right side out. Now this bedroll cover is about the size to fit a, a, a 18 inch doll could use this little bedroll. It's easier for me to show you how to put it all together. So now we're going to take our foam and we're going to insert it into which really is just a pillowcase. Tunnel it into place. It's not going to feel, fit tight. It's going to fit loose because it is more comfortable that way. Once you get down here to the bottom, you're going to fold the bottom in about a half of an inch on both sides and pin that in place. Okay, so we're now to the finishing of the bedroll. We're going to go ahead and tuck in the bottom about a half inch. We're going to take the tie and insert the middle of the tie into that seam and sew it shut the entire length. You can simply roll up this little bedroll and tie it with your tie string and tuck it into the knapsack, complete with a little pillow. All of these things are available as a pattern in a complete form online. Enjoy your nappy knapsack.